Hello students, today we are going to start the revision of lesson number 2, Nutrition in Animals. And I will be giving the notes of this lesson. We will start with the objective questions. First question, fill in the blanks and I have also included some true or false. And most of the questions are taken from the textbook only. Wherever NCRT is written in the bracket, that questions are from the textbook and remaining are some extra questions. First question, the digestion of food starts in dash and gets completed in? So the digestion of food starts in mouth and gets completed in the small intestine. Even though the last part of the digestive system is large intestine, only the absorption of water and some salt takes place in the large intestine. All digestion will be getting completed in the small intestine. So first answer is mouth and second one is small intestine. Teeth are rooted in separated dash in between. Uh, the answer is teeth, uh, teeth are located in separate sockets in between the gums. The stomach releases hydrochloric acid and the uh, dash juices which act on food. Stomach releases hydrochloric acid, mucus and also uh, digestive juices. So answer will be here, digestive juices. And the next question, the main steps of nutrition humans are, there are five steps. First one is ingestion, second digestion, next one is absorption, then assimilation, and the last part is digestion. So first one, ingestion, digestion, absorption, assimilation, Digestion. Next question. Dash juice completes the digestion of all food components. Mm, the answer is intestinal juice. I told the last part of digestion takes place in small intestine. So the intestinal juice secreted by the small intestine completes the digestion of all components of food. The next one, which are absorbed in large intestine. Which parts of the food materials are absorbed? Water and salts. Water and salts are absorbed in large intestine. The next question is, tongue is attached at the dash to the floor of the mouth cavity and is free edge which end? So tongue is attached at the floor of, attached at the back to the floor of the mouth cavity and it is free, our tongue is free at the front end. So first option is, back and this uh, second one is front. Now next question, amoeba pushes out dash around the foot and traps it in a foot dash. So amoeba pushes out the false feet which are called pseudopodia. Spelling, be careful about spelling, P-S-E-U-D-O-P-O-D-A, -E pseudopodia around the foot and traps it in a foot vacuum, B-A-C-U-O-L-E, vacuum. Next one, fats get completely digested in the small intestine. Next one, large intestine is dash and dash the shorter than small intestine. Large intestine is wider, it is more broad, but lengthwise it is shorter than small intestine. So wider and shorter. Now grazing animals such as they are called the ruminants. Which are the ruminants? Grazing. Animals such as cows, buffaloes, goats, sheep, etc. are called ruminants, grass-eating animals. Okay, now we'll see the questions of true or false. Next question, all heterotrophs have a similar basic process of nutrition. No. Organism, different organisms have different basic process of nutrition. So the statement is false. Next one, the tongue is attached to the roof of the buccal cavity. No, not at the roof, the tongue is attached at the floor of the buccal cavity. So that also falls. Next one, the process of digestion begins in the stomach. Now in the FA we also I told, the process of digestion begins in the mouth, not, at the, not in the stomach, that also falls. So first three are false. Next one, mucus protects the stomach lining from damage, corrects the stomach secrete three types of juices, one is mucus, one digestive juices and another one is hydrochloric acid. 
in their mucus protects the wall of the stomach. This is true. Small intestine, next one, small intestine has belief for absorption of food. That is correct. There are some finger-like projections in the wall of the small intestine, which are called villi, and they help in the absorption of nutrients. The large intestine is longer and wider than the small intestine. Just now only we discussed that the large intestine is not longer, it is shorter than small intestine. So the statement is false. Seventh one, undigested and unabsorbed residue is expelled out of the body as faces through anus. Correct. The food which are not digested and not absorbed in the large intestine, they are eliminated out of the body through anus. That is true. Next one, the ruminants bring back swallowed grass into their mouth and chew it for some time. Correct. So in the next video, we will discuss about some more type of questions.